Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would vlog today. Um, we're actually just waiting for Phoebe to come home. Um, she stayed at my parents last night. Um, so yes, so she'll be on her way soon. Um, and we're just thinking about what we're gonna do today. We have got a long list because I forgot to book a Sainsbury's click and collect slot. So um, we're gonna have to actually go into the store. It's fine, doesn't matter. Um, just because it's been a bit of a busy week. Um, so some exciting news this week, I got a job um, starting in September. So obviously it's not gonna start for ages. I've still got six months off with Phoebe, which is lovely, um, but it just means that I've got something, it's all ticked off, it's lined up, ready for me in September. Um, so yeah, very excited, a little bit nervous obviously, um, you know, a new job is always nerve wracking, but yeah, I'm excited to get back to working in September. Now, because I'm going to be getting back to working, Fraser is going to be having to step up a little bit in terms of like, obviously like running the house and stuff. He's still going to be working full time, but he is going to be working from home. Um, whereas I'm going to be working mornings, but I am going to be working elsewhere um so obviously he can do things around the house while he's you know in between meetings and stuff like do the laundry and stuff that i might not have the time to do anymore um and one of the jobs that i'm gonna train him up for is um doing the weekly shop and don't get me wrong like obviously he contributes more than enough like around the house and stuff like it's just because I've kind of got we've got into the rhythm of it and whilst looking after Phoebe I also kind of do a few bits and bobs there and I've always been in charge of the shopping because it's one of those things that I don't know uh I'm a bit of a freak a control freak about it like I kind of want to know what I'm getting and what we're having and the dates on food so things like oh that's the timer but yeah I'm gonna try and get him ready to go and do it um so we've been making the list like i said already and we're gonna go together today but i think next week i'm gonna try and send him on his own and see how that goes um when was the last time you went to the supermarket to do a shop on your own well how uh, well, i've never been to do big shops by myself a weekly shop he's never been and done i'd go and do like two or three days whilst i was at uni but yeah. that's just for one that's yeah, yeah 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 so not like a family shop kind of thing no. um so yeah that's gonna be fun. Um, so that's what we're gonna to do today. What else? Might go for a walk to the park. It's March now. Does anyone remember? Did anyone watch my Christmas present haul? I have an ant farm that I need to fill with ants. Um, and it is March now, so maybe we'll find some ants um, to put in my ant farm. Um, so we might go and try and do that. What else are we gonna do? Oh, the other really important job that we need to do today is move Phoebe's cot down um, because it's still at the top level and I have a feeling she's sit she can sit on her own now and I have a feeling it won't be long until she can pull herself up in the cot um, and obviously if the mattress is high then that's not safe so we need to move the mattress down to the bottom um, so that she can't pull herself up and out of the bed because that wouldn't be safe. Oh, it's so bright. Um, our fence is about to fall down. Um, we rent here, so it's not our fence technically, but we have called and I'm just watching it now blowing in the wind because the wind is so um, strong and it looks like it's about to go. Um, also last night Fraser put our microwave steriliser on without any water in and uh, if you can see this is what happened to the LV bottle. <laughs> it's got like these little growths. Um, so I had to order some more of those on Amazon. £30 for three. So it's kind of a win and a loss. Obviously £30 is quite expensive, but I'm going to have an extra two bottles because I had two, we've broke one, and then I'm going to get three. So I'm going to have an extra two, which is really good because I'm really lazy when it comes to washing and sterilising and it always makes me really angry that I don't have any clean ones. I'm like, no. Um, so those should be arriving today as well. They're just from Amazon. I don't know if I said. Um, what else? It's also Mother's Day tomorrow. <clears throat> so that's probably, in fact, it's probably this video is gonna be going out on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day, mamas. Happy Mother's Day. Um, so at Sainsbury's, we also need to buy some flowers for my parents. Um, we sent a card for Fraser's mum. And I don't know if Phoebe's got me anything, but we'll see. In fact, I did already have a present from Phoebe because um, she bought me some cookies, um, like through the post cookies. 
so we have been eating those for the past day or so so yeah we need to get some flowers for my parents at Sainsbury's because we're gonna go to them tomorrow for a mother's day breakfast oh I can see Phoebe Cassie time what's that funny face for she's just had some milk um so the other thing that Fraser's just reminded me of is that I was contacted to do a covid test um like as a sample thing um so they can track all these variants and whatever so I did that this morning but we've got to wait for a courier to come and collect it and they haven't given me a specific time it just says between eight and six which is basically all day um so I've done the test and it's waiting in the fridge for the courier but obviously we can't all go out if we're waiting for someone to come pick up this test so um I think what we're going to do first is we'll do the bed um, so we're all in the house and then we will see how the day goes and if the worst comes to it Fraser can do the shop on his own What do you think? Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well? Look at her hair like she was born with so much hair the po to the point where like they commented on it um, when she was born and now look like she's a little baldy locks So yeah, I think we're gonna go and do the bed. So we need to find the instructions which I'm not sure where they'll be. I'll have to have a look. Okay, so as you can see, the cot is obviously at the top level at the moment. Excuse all this rubbish. Obviously, she wasn't here last night. Um, so we need to move it down to the bottom. Um, we're just trying to find the instructions now, but I'm not sure where we'll put them um, and all the tools and bits and bobs. So let's see. If they're anywhere, they'll be in here, I think. Yes. Ta-da! So if anyone's interested, we have the cot... Oh, my face isn't on that. Um, so if anyone's interested, we have the cot... Um, the, I think it's called the Medina by Tutti Bambini. I really, really like it. I like the style and the colour and stuff. Um, the quality, we also bought the changing table and I say the quality of that wasn't great. Um, the had a rim around the top which broke but I do plan on making like a big purchases like is it worth it video at some point so I will go into a bit more detail um, but yes we do have the instructions and some various other bits and bobs so let's see what we need to do
you can't really see me. <laughs> it's now Phoebe's nap time. So she had her lunch with Fraser and um, some milk and now she's going to go to bed. Um, but Fraser's actually going to go and do the shop on his own today. We figured that with all the timings and stuff it just doesn't quite work as going together. So we're going to have some lunch and then he's going to go. Um, but I just thought I would show you because Phoebe's going to be obviously having her first nap in the cot lower. And we're also going to try her in a different sleep bag as well because it is quite warm at the moment and so we're going to put her in the one tog one rather than the two and a half tog um so yeah let's go ready for a nap 